Welcome back to the Average Camper's Adventures. Today we're going to install 430 watts of solar power. We have a trip planned soon where we're going to be boondocking in the Smoky Mountains and we need that power. In the past we just used one panel sitting just on the ground outside but now we want to go ahead and take the next step and we have four solar panels again the total is 430 watts of power and we want to permanently mount them on the roof of our RV. The Average Camper's Adventures. We've also purchased a lithium battery uh, to give us 300 additional amp hours. Um, some of you know a little bit about lithium. Uh, maybe you've researched it in the past, but this allows us to use about 80% of the energy that's stored in that battery and they last a lot longer. They're quite a bit more expensive, but we thought it was time to go ahead and make the change since our batteries that we originally got in the coach are starting to uh, fail. Uh, what I mean is, is that uh, they're not keeping uh, as good a charge. We've tried to do things to uh, help them out, but unfortunately uh, we suffer from, from uh, not using the coach enough and when the batteries sit for a period of time it's not good for them especially a wet battery or a lead acid battery so this is where we're at and uh, we have a lot to do Okay, so what we're going to do is pass up all these panels and uh, then we're going to try to get them installed here on the top of the on the roof here and my lovely wife is bringing out each panel individually while I sit up here and give it our best shot. <laughs> Are you ready to try to pass these things up? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, panel number one. Whew. So we've chosen the driver's side of the coach because it had the most amount of space to put all four panels in line. The other side has a decent amount of space which we could use to add additional panels in the future if we need to. But as you can see we have a vent. Uh, we have a vent, a uh, fantastic fan and, a, and just a, uh, a sewer vent. Um, that would have prevented us from putting all of them together. And what I'm thinking of is wiring, so trying to make it so that each one is set in a way where there doesn't require as much wiring. Okay, as you can see, I've got the four panels laid out here.
I got my charge controller here on the side near the battery bank and of course we just have one battery right now because we're waiting for our lithium. This way what I'll end up doing is uh, basically just hooking up uh, externally once we get to the campsite I'll connect it so we can get solar and just have the wire draping down the side of the uh, coach until I can problem solve and figure out where I want to run the wires on the inside of the coach. Um, it's something you just, you know, you can't do without a lot of planning and I don't have it all figured out yet. So I'm going to try to go ahead and do it this way for our trip and then I'll switch it over and, uh, and make it so that it is more permanently wired. My next step is to uh, get back on the roof and I've got to tape down the uh, wires that are going from each solar panel and I'm using a, uh, a Turnabond uh, tape which should, uh, should work perfectly. So it's all uh, hooked up, taped down, screwed down, glued down. Any other way you can possibly put solar panels and secure them to your roof, I've taken care of it. And so now we have a charge coming in. And I think in the future, we currently have a PWM charge controller. And that does limit our total amps going in for charging. So we may look at, in the future, investing into an MPPT charge controller. They are significantly more expensive, but you do get the benefits of the um, the added wattage coming from your uh, panels, and it turns into uh, amperage or current. So um, that would help us to charge the batteries more quickly and get the maximum uh, benefit out of our solar panels. To run down, you know, uh, time frame that it took to put this together, I would say I had to dedicate an entire weekend and a little bit during the week when the panels were off and I had them inside I was measuring wire, I was mounting the uh, tilt brackets um, doing all that to prepare prior to getting up onto the roof but I would say roughly this can be done within a weekend um, if you do some preparation prior to the actual install um, we did not do the full wire or the permanent wire uh, you know, we were planning on maybe running it behind the refrigerator and into the battery bank. We did not do that um, at this time because I want to be sure that when I drill a hole in the roof that it is the right place. <laughs> I don't want to make a mistake there. So um, we're going to hold off on that. But I believe uh, it's still early in the day on, on Sunday. So I believe had I gone ahead and, and ran those wires to the battery inside the coach, I probably could have got that done. Uh, by the uh, you know by supper time today so anyway just wanted to give you a brief summary of the time it took us to get this job done thanks for watching we'll be out there boondocking soon join us next time on the average campers adventures